hello everyone so in this video i will discuss about chromosomes so without any delay let's start the video so first of all the topics that will be covered in this video are so what is the chromosome then the history of chromosome then structure of chromosome features of chromosome types of chromosome and finally the functions of chromosome so these are the topics which i'm going to cover in this video so first of all what is chromosome so the chromosome the word chromosome so it is made up of the two words that is chroma and soma so here the chroma means color while soma means body so chromosome means colored body because the chromosome they easily absorb the dye and they take the pattern of light and the dark when exposed to the different strains so it means the chromosomes are the colored body and these are present in the nucleus and these are thread like structures these thread like structures they contain the dna and the protein that carry the part or all of the organism's genetic material so in simple word you can say the chromosomes are thread like structures found in the nucleus that contain the genetic material of the organism so next history of chromosome so chromosomes were first described by strasburger in 1855 while the term chromosome was given by waldier in 1888 so now the structure of chromosome so this is typically a chromosome so the structure concerned so it consists of chromatids so chromatids are the thread like strands of chromosome and the two identical chromatids they are called as sister chromatids because the chromatids they are formed due to the replication of the chromosome so these are identical and hence they are called as sister chromatids the next is the centromere so the centromere is that part where the two these sister chromatids they link with each other and it is also sometimes called as primary constriction and during the mitosis the spindles attached to this centromere via kinetochore and the composition of centromere concerned so this centromere mostly consists of repetitive short dna sequences next telomeres so the telomere these are the specialized end of the chromosomes and they have a specialized polarity and they exhibit some specific physiological functions next due to this centromere this chromosome is divided into two arms the short arm is called as p arm while the long arm is called as q arm and this chromosome is consist of dna so you can say the just dna folded and take the shape of chromosome so this is typically a structure of a chromosome now next the features of chromosomes so chromosome have certain feature like they vary in size shape and number from species to species means each species of plant have different number of chromosome their size will be different their shape will be different next feature include self duplication what it means that chromosomes they can replicate by themselves so that is means they are self duplicating next the chromosome they are consist of dna rna and proteins the next feature is that they are best visible during the metaphase because in the interphase they are so tightly condensed or the so tightly associated that you cannot see them properly so the best stage to see the chromosome is the metaphasic stage next the chromosomes in the eukaryotes they bear genes in the linear fashion next is the types of chromosomes so the chromosomes they can be classify on three bases that is on the basis of location of centromere on the basis of number of centromere and autosomes and sex chromosomes so on the basis of location of centromere we have metacentric chromosome submetacentric acrocentric and telocentric while on the basis of number of centromere we have monocentric dicentric polycentric and acentric chromosome so 
now let discuss all these types of chromosome in detail so first on the basis of location of centromere so we have metacentric chromosomes so here the centromere is just in the middle of the chromosome so here this red dot represent the centromere and you can see it is the it is in the middle of the chromosome so due to centromere chromosome has two arm the short arm is the p arm and the long arm is the q arm so the generally in humans chromosome number 1 3 16 19 and 20 are the metacentric chromosomes second type of chromosome on the basis of location of centromere is the sub metacentric so here as you can see in the diagram so here the centromere is just shifted from the center so you can say it is off the center as you can clearly see in this diagram so here this is the centromere and it is just shifted away from the uh, you can say the middle of the chromosome so in human chromosome number 2 and 4 to 12 and 17 18 and the chromosome x are the sub metacentric chromosomes next type of chromosome is acrocentric so here as you can again see in the diagram so here the chromo the centromere is just shifted more from the center like you can see this is the centromere so it is now shifted more from the middle portion of the chromosome so you can simply say the centromere is severely offset from the center or the middle portion of chromosome so in human chromosome number 13 to 15 21 22 and the chromosome y are the acrocentric chromosomes and next type of chromosome on the basis of location of centromere is telocentric chromosome so here the centromere is just at the end of chromosome as you can see here this is the centromere and now you can see the position of centromere is just at the end of chromosome so generally in human there is no telocentric chromosome so next on the basis of numbers of centromere so we have monocentric chromosomes so here as the name indicate mono means single or one so the chromosome which have only one centromere is known as monocentric chromosome like you can see here this red dot it represents the centromere so here we have only one centromere so it is a monocentric chromosome so mostly normal chromosomes are the monocentric chromosomes then next we have dicentric chromosome so here again the name indicate di means two so when the chromosome has two centromere like here we have the one centromere and second centromere so when the chromosome has two centromere so that chromosome is called as dicentric chromosome next polycentric chromosome so poly means many so the chromosome which have more than two centromeres so these are called as polycentric chromosomes like here we have one two and three so here we have three centromeres so this is the polycentric chromosome and next acentric chromosome so when the chromosome is absent so as you can see here in this diagram we do not have here we do not have any centromere so now you can clearly see the centromere is absent so this chromosome is called as acentric chromosome now autosomes and the sex chromosomes so autosomes so humans have 22 pairs of autosomes like you can see the normal karyotype of a human here you can see we have 22 pairs of chromosomes and while the sex chromosomes are x and the y so we have only one pair of sex chromosome so in case of male female we have two x chromosomes while in case of male we have one x and the one y chromosomes next the functions of chromosome so the function is like just genetic code storage what it means that chromosomes they contain the genetic material so simply they are just storing the genetic code for the development of an organism the next function that sex determination so as i told humans have 23 pair of chromosome out of which 22 are autosomes and one pair is of sex chromosomes and the male have x y chromosome while female has x and x chromosomes so by this we can determine the sex of and in readable by just determining or just visualizing these chromosomes the next function include control of cell division 
so the chromosomes they check successful division of cells during the process of mitosis the chromosome of the parent cell they ensure that the correct information should be passed to the daughter cells which is required by the cell to grow and develop correctly so the chromosome they also control the cell division next formation of proteins and storage so yes the chromosomes they direct the sequences of proteins that formed in our body and also maintain the order of dna the proteins are stored in coiled structure of the chromosome and these proteins bound to the dna with help of some proper packaging of the dna next they have greater importance in the determination of phylogeny and the taxonomy of species yes by these chromosomes we can classify the species also so this is all about the chromosome guys so hope you like the video see you in the next video till then take care